Hey everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 6. So, let's continue where we left off. And I think we'll have to buy a builder using our gold because we're about to have the farm pillaged by the Barbarian and then probably the stone as well. Which is fine, we still need to improve the truffles. So I think we'll just buy the builder. Other than that, maybe we should actually heal the scout. That sounds like a good idea to me. Speaking of scouts, I'll just use the scout as an escort for the settler. Not the most amazing escort of all times, but it will do for our needs. It's mostly in case there's some nasty surprise waiting. So here you go. Create an escort and off you go. And since we already got the barbarian here, let's get some experience, shall we? At least we can do that. And I will finish researching early empire. We don't have the time to wait to get 6 population. That will take way too long. Hey, where do you think you're going? Do we want to attack him with the warrior? Yeah, should be fine. We still got discipline. And that's actually a promotion. Very nice. Hold on. Maybe we can prevent him from pillaging the stone. Not that it really matters. I'll have to buy that builder anyway. I can't quite kill him right now, no. And it's a bit risky leaving the city with the slinger. Alright, let's just buy that builder right now. And heal the scout back to full. What do you want? Yeah, Russia won't like us. Because his science and culture output is higher. Oh well, whatever. I don't care. Actually, we can prevent him from pillaging this. I think. Or maybe not. Alright, doesn't matter. He will die on the next turn. So, right now, Japan is the friendliest civilization from the looks of it. No one else really likes us. Well, Monty is relatively friendly. We are gaining with China. But for some reason, China still dislikes us. Alright. Fine, I suppose. So, kill this dude. And repair the stone first, because production. And we'll pick up Battle Cry. So now we finish the campus. If we research bronze working, then we can remove the jungles and speed up the campus at least a little bit. That's probably what we'll do. Repair. Yep, I think that's the best option once we finish archery. Sounds good. Now, where exactly do we want this city down here? Probably on this tile. The main purpose of that city is to secure the natural wonder. So that no one else will settle close to it. But I also want it to be at least a reasonably decent city. So if we settle right here, it will be coastal. And it should be coastal because Australia. And we'll get wheat in range. We'll get some tiles with hills for production in the future. It won't be the most amazing city of all times, but it will be okay-ish. And okay-ish is good enough for the purpose this city will serve. Anyway, back to the builder. How much gold do we need to buy the cattle? 135. Okay, that's more than I have currently. I guess we'll improve the truffles next. And then we'll see. Okay, archery is almost done. And we found another city-state, nice. Once we're done with archery, we should probably upgrade the slinger. One more turn. And two turns to finish early empire. 
Should we pick up colonization right away after finishing early empire? I think so. First I want to see how many turns it will take to finish bronze working. Oh, Japan actually wants to be friends. How about that? I shot an and oh, there's here. a barbarian camp right here. Shot well, that's a little bit annoying. Where? I'll just have to deal with that. Yeah, Monty already doesn't like us because we improved our own luxury. Clearly that's unreasonable, why would we ever do that? Okay, well, I will still settle the city, but it's going to be slightly awkward. Alright, fine, I want the city. We'll just have to wait for the units to get there and upgrade the slinger. As for our next research, it should be bronze working. So that we can chop the jungle. Yep, sounds good to me. And production, just get started on a builder. And change policies, get rid of God King. We will keep discipline because it looks like we kind of need it. And do we get urban planning? And wait. Wait, we can't get colonization yet. Right, so let's grab urban planning for plus one production. Yep. We can still pick up colonization on the next turn. I don't think I really want to right now. Because we have to finish the campus anyway. There's no point picking up a bonus production policy for settlers when we aren't recruiting settlers yet. And we want to be for another seven turns. The next policy will take, okay, slightly more than seven turns, but we could get mysticism and then switch in nine. Unless I decide to build a library first, but we need that settler. So okay, let's research mysticism and then we'll switch. Do we want to keep discipline? I think we should. Yep, we'll keep discipline for now. And once we're done with bronze working, we'll chop both jungle tiles. That seems like a good idea to me. That will give us some food and some production. This is going okay so far. I actually wish someone declared war on us, because that would give us a 100% production bonus for 10 turns. But oh well. Monty might do it eventually, and actually Russia might also do it. In fact, we should probably protect this city a little bit better. <laughs> because Russia will almost definitely declare war sooner or later. I will be very, very surprised if they don't. It's almost to be expected. Six turns to finish the campus. Where do we want our third city? I was thinking right here on this tile. We can put a pin on it. This one. Because then we'll get the fish, we'll get the crab, we'll get cattle, we'll get coffee. We could also settle on the marsh and we would get the other coffee. But then there will be slight overlap with Canberra. We'll miss out on the fish. So I think I prefer this location. That's a hill, actually, I think. I'm pretty sure that's a hill. Yes, it is. So that will be our third city. So, barbarians. We have to wait a few more turns. Is there a camp over here as well? Yeah, there certainly is. We should probably get rid of that though, but that one isn't threatening our city. At least not as directly as the other one. So it can wait a little bit longer. We still have to meet a few more AIs. 
Can we do anything with Japan? Not really, I guess we can get open borders. Wait, he wants one gold per turn from us, really? Even though we are a declared friend. What kind of friendship is that? I'm not giving you gold, sorry. I don't think we can get open borders with anyone else. No, they all want gold from us. I'm not giving you gold, sorry. Especially when I don't need open borders for anything other than diplomatic boost. How about you pay us? So, we are almost here. Two turns to finish the campus. And four turns to finish bronze working. Then we can finish the jungle. And we met another AI. I think that's actually the first time I have Gorgo in any of my games. Yeah, I don't remember ever playing against her in the past. So I'm pretty sure this is the first time I got her. But she's on the other side of the map, so she's not really relevant from our point of view. Still got a few more AIs to find. And we got inspiration for the state workforce, because we finished the campus. Okay then, so next up we need that settler. We'll get the settler. Not much to see here. And we can start chopping the jungle in two turns. And meanwhile, we'll kill the barbarians. They are blocking the only tile I can use to get the production, uh, I mean, combat strength bonus for our units. That's slightly annoying, but okay. As for next research, let's grab masonry, because we are going to need walls, especially in this city. Because I do expect Russia to attack us sooner or later. They almost certainly will. So, remove the jungle, that's 25 production and 25 food. And then we can remove the other jungle. Also, where's Iron? And I clicked that away a little bit too quickly. No to idea what I happened there. Militant mysticism. I'm absolutely well, doesn't matter. Sure of some things that I don't quite know. Yeah, there is Aaron in range of our city. That's actually very convenient. Here's another one. And horses just out of range. We should settle a city somewhere around here. To secure the horses, the marble and the Aaron. It could still be a coastal city. On this tile right here. That's not a bad city location. So, right here. It's not amazing either, but it's mostly to secure all these resources. And then we should also get a city somewhere in this area. On the river. Not sure where exactly just yet, but somewhere over there. And maybe another city between Canberra and our second city. But that's the lowest possible priority. It's mostly so that AI doesn't start a city. And block the way for us. Barbarian camp is gone. We got one more to get rid of. And we can change our policies, so... Let's pick up colonization. And get rid of discipline. I don't think we need discipline anymore. Then again, we also kind of don't need anything else. I suppose we can grab survey. Okay, let's get survey for now. We are still exploring. And next up, state workforce. And then political philosophy. Might as well just queue it up. And we got an envoy. So what do we want to work on? I think we should just get a little bit of culture. No question here, so we'll get one. To get the culture. It's not a lot of culture, but it's always something. Oh, Japan won't like that, apparently. Really? I sent one envoy in there. 
and he doesn't have any, so what on earth are you even talking about? Is it because we finished some quest in here? Yeah, apparently it is. I wasn't even going to do that quest, as in I wasn't doing it on purpose. <laughs> He's still friendly, but that's a minus six penalty. Slightly annoying. Okay, whatever. I don't even know which quest that was, so I clearly couldn't have avoided it. Well, I would have to play suboptimally to avoid it, which is the problem sometimes. Like, take Monty for example, it's not like you're not going to improve your own luxuries to keep Monty happy. I bet he wouldn't be happy regardless, but you get the point. It's just silly. Right, chop the other jungle, and that will speed up the settler. I don't think it's safe to send him on his own. Yeah, that's a little bit too risky for my taste. We probably want to recruit a quick unit or something like that. Whatever is cheapest at the moment. Oh wait, we don't control the style just yet, okay. I guess we'll wait a few more turns then. I would like to buy the cattle. Maybe we should just buy the cattle and improve that instead. That seems like a good idea to me. I think we'll do that instead. And we can escort the settler with our scout. Again, not the best escort of all times, but it will do. Keep the warrior in the city. It's not like he will be able to defend it if Russia declares war on us, but at least the city won't be completely defenseless. Yeah, Russia will definitely declare war sooner or later. That's going to be unavoidable, more or less. He already hates us. They dislike civilizations who are better explorers than they are. Yeah, because I wasn't going to explore the map. <laughs> right, let's buy that cattle, why not? And improve it right away. That gives us horseback riding boost. And a very nice style to work, obviously. That was partially the point. Four turns to finish the settler. And we still have to find a few more AIs. And we still have one barbarian camp to get rid of. I'm not sure if one archer will be enough. I might actually need the warrior against that camp. Yeah, I'm thinking I will need a warrior against that, especially if he's guarded by a spearman, which it probably is. At least our science is looking better now, unlike Monty's. Let's grab sailing. That's only three turns, and we can improve the fish. Hey, Russia, we don't care. And you already said that too. So how about you stop repeating yourself? Yep, it's a spearman. I expected as much. Okay. We'll handle that. Never again. And we found a crater lake. Nice. Thanks, I guess. Not very useful, but alright. What do you want? Yeah, that's because we are not at war. So, she already dislikes us. Right now it's unknown reason, because, yeah, we don't have the visibility. But that's what it is. She doesn't like us because we're not fighting anyone. Heal for one turn. And we can switch our policies on the next turn, if we want to. We probably want to, because the settler is pretty much done. So, we'll switch back to plus on production. Yep, I think so. Create escort formation and let's switch to plus on production. Or to plus 30% production towards builders. Nah, plus on production because we need other things as well. And now we can pick up 
Well, we could actually grab a galley. That's not a bad idea. We still have a city-state quest for a galley, I think. Do we? I think we had one. Let's see. Or was I mistaken? Yes, we do have one in Lisbon. So that's not a bad idea. We could build a quick galley in Canberra. How many turns to get the next policy? 11. So I would have to keep that policy for 11 turns. Okay, I don't think that's worth it then. We'll pick up plus one production and bonus to classical melee and ranged units. Yep. So, research. Get started on currency, get horseback riding. We should get started on currency for sure. And recruit a trader. I would also like to build a library ASAP. But we need a trader, that's for sure. And let's grab the trader. And maybe get more food. Make this grow slightly faster. Yep, that's a little bit better. We'll do 8 turns of currency and then switch to something else. That's the plan. And political philosophy. That's 12 turns, it's already boosted. 12 turns is pretty good. Remember, we are playing on epic speed. So everything will be slower. Kill this guy and then hopefully get the gold from the camp. Before someone else loads it. And they will load it. If we let them. Alright, let's go settle that city before Monty does it. Or someone else. I'm almost surprised he didn't settle somewhere over here. Or that he didn't capture the city-state. Hey Monty, where are you going? Is he planning to attack? Because this is slightly suspicious. Well, he doesn't like us, that's for sure. Maybe we should recruit some unit instead. Well, actually, yeah. But let's recruit a quick archer. Because we don't really have any defenses right now. We have one warrior and one archer. The problem is that if he declares war right now, I will lose the settler. That's what's going to happen. And I will probably just literally lose the city if that happens. Unless we hurry up and send some defenses. I still want the city. So, I don't know. How much would it cost us to buy a unit? A little bit too much right now. We could ask him to declare a joint war, but on who? On Gorgor or something like that? I don't think he's going to accept. Yeah, no. Well, China? I don't know. Wait, he would actually accept that. Okay. I'm almost tempted to go for that. China doesn't like us anyway. I don't think China will be a threat. Right now, Monty is definitely a bigger threat than China, because he does have units right here. And I don't really want to fight Ego Warriors all that much. Not too excited about doing that. Neither of them will like us in the long run, but since he's willing to accept that deal, I think we should go for it. Okay, let's just go for it. It will keep him busy, hopefully. It's a shame we can't get any gold. Actually, yeah, we can get some gold. How much flat gold can we get? 30. 40, probably around 45. 49. 50. Okay. 70. 80. 25. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. That's several turns worth of our income, if not more than that. Okay, accept. Whatever, it's fine. Again, it will keep him busy, hopefully. And we will settle our city. 
He probably won't like this. Assuming he has a few cities inside Fog of War that we cannot see right now, we will explore in that direction with our scout. But yeah, found the city and removed this pin and send him west. And we'll start from an archer actually to get some defenses. Yep. And make the city grow. So that's the third city done. I would still like to grab this one for the resources. Get the marble, get the horses, get second swords of iron. But we also need to focus on getting some basic defenses. I don't feel comfortable with only one archer and one warrior, that's for sure. Currency is almost at 50%. Now, I am still a little bit worried that Russia will declare war on us. They really hate us at this point. So, we might want to secure that city next to the Wonder. However, that's going to be the end of the episode, so thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.